Bottom of the first here at Kittatinny High School, and it's Allison Wester with the opposite field single to right with one out for the Cougars. But Walkill Valley pitcher Gabby Chizulo ends the inning here with the strikeout, and this Colonial Division clash has no score at the one inning of play. Kittatinny freshman starter Alexis Cook was dealing in the top of the second as she strikes out the side for a 1-2-3 inning for the Cougars, and we remain scoreless. Bottom of the second and it's senior catcher Callie Van Gordon leading things off as she rips his blast in deep right field and watch her head all the way home on the Walker Valley error and it's 1-0 to lead off the frame for the Cougars. Then Alexis Cook delivers this opposite field single to right with one out for Kittatinny. But the inning comes to an end here with two runners on. Watch Wokill Valley shortstop Jay Deaver absolutely rob Candace Flynn of a hit as she makes the catch in short left field to keep it a 1 0 game. Terrific play there by Deaver. Top of the third we go, and with two outs, it's Jay Cabrera of Wokill Valley getting the Rangers' first hit here with this single to the left, but she is left stranded and remains 1 0 kid at any. We move to the bottom of the third, and it's Allison Wester with the bloop to center, and watch her leg it out and turn it into a double to lead things off. Great hustle. Then it's Ashley Brown following with the perfect sack punt, as Ashley Wester hustles all the way home from second to score, and it's 2-0 Kid at Tinney on a ball that didn't travel more than three feet. Wow. Okay, top of the fifth, and with one out, Walker Valley picks up just its second hit, as Christina Perosi collects the single to center, but she is left stranded, and it remains 2-0 Kid at Tinney. All right, bottom of the fifth, and Kid at Tinney scores without the benefit of a hit in the inning, as Olivia Manzer chases home Candace Flynn, who reached on an error with the RBI grounder to third, and it's 3-0 Kid at Tinney through five innings. We move to the top of the seventh, and after a Nicole Hopper walk, it's Gabby Chizulo lacing this double to the gap and right, and Wokel Valley's in business with runners on second and third and nobody out. Kittatinny gets a big out here on the ground to the third. It's Kelly and Salaka with a heads up tag for the first out of the inning, but Wokel Valley still has runners on first and second. And after a fly out to center, it's Alexis Cook with the game inning strikeout to end the threat as she picks up her first varsity win as a starter as the Cougars blank Wokel Valley. Three to nothing. I thought it was really exciting. I thought we all worked really well as a team. I think this victory means a lot to us as a team. Um, we're working towards like working together as a team, and that's what we did today. We pulled through. I just think our team is coming together extremely well after losing like so many like players, I guess, like our varsity starters and like big bats in our lineup. Like we have a lot of freshmen and like underclassmen coming up and like filling in their spots. So I like their lives. I thought the girls did a great job. They stayed through seven innings. Uh, we, you know, we've been fine tuning on the little things and making sure that we execute, and the girls did a good job doing that. Kittatinny started a freshman today at pitcher Alexis Cook. Her first varsity start, she was tremendous. She only allowed three hits, six strikeouts, one walk, and tossed a shutout. I felt pretty good up there. I know the girls always have my back, so it's not that nerve-wracking to be up there for the first time. Alexis did a nice job. Today was her first start. Uh, she's a freshman. Um, she came in, you know, Skyler's our starting pitcher, and she came in, uh, given Skyler a break in her first start, and she did an excellent job today. I saw that she was very confident up there today, and that's what she needs to be to be able to pitch a game like she did, and I think she did very well. Kittatinny's hoping to count on Alexis Cook and their starter from last year and their number one pitcher, Skyler Rodriguez, who's terrific, and will give them a good one-two punch. She's amazing. I've been working with her forever, and she's always got my back and helping me out when I need help. Callie Van Gordon was catching this freshman today, and she said she did a great job. She threw extremely well for, like, this is, like, her first varsity start. So, like, I've always caught, like, girls my age or older than me. So it was nice seeing her come up and really own it today. It was cool. Kittatinny scratched out three runs today. Their first run came on a triple to right field by Callie Van Gordon, and she scored on an error, and Kittatinny had the one nothing lead, and they never really looked back after that. I think our team mentality is based off of, like, we're always thinking to score, so I think that's what we do on the bases, and that's how we get it done. Miss Mate told me in advance, like, I've been having trouble uh, rolling over on the inside pitches, so I was looking for an outside one, and she gave it to me, so I just took it that way, and then, like, I was I was just expecting it to draw, like, get caught, and then uh, Miss Mate just kept me coming, and I was like, uh-oh. So it, was, it felt good. It was cool. Callie did a nice job executing today. Um, you know, she's a go-to player for me, uh, senior, captain on the team, and uh, she stepped up to the plate, and, you know, she's just stayed in her zone and stayed through it and executed. Coach Heather Mate here at Kittatinny, very aggressive on the base pass. 
In fact, Kittatinny scored on a sack bunt by Ashley Brown as Allison Wester scored all the way from second base. Base running wise, yeah, you know, we're going to take to look to take advantage if, you know, teams are going to leave open open spots, bases basically, then we're going to take advantage of that. Kittatinny played great defense today in getting the shutout. Defensively, I think we're we're doing a really great job, you know, um, Outfield's doing a great job uh, marking, marking up and covering everything and uh, backing up and, you know, hitting our cutoffs and infield, staying together, you know. Uh, it's really like our, our main focus this year is, you know, how happy can you be for another teammate's success, basically, and, you know, taking it off just individuals and more of a team focus. The only inning that Walkill really threatened was the top of the seventh. They had two runners on, but Cook came up with a big strikeout to get the victory. There was a little rough patch, but it was we got back together and we came back as a team and we pulled it together. Last year, Kittatinny won the Colonial Division and towards the end of it, their only loss in the division was to Walk Hill Valley. And Coach Heather May says they don't take any team for granted, but they definitely want to win that Colonial title once again. Uh, yes, we would like to, yeah, we're going to defend our title. Um, and yes, we always have, you know, a lot of people don't give Sussex County a lot of credit when it comes to our, our softball, but uh, we have a lot of competitive teams and, you know, on, it doesn't matter who we're playing in the league or in the NJAC conference, no team can be taken lightly, and including a team like Walk Hill. Um, they did a nice job today defensively and offensively, and they made, you know, they had runners on base. They could have easily scored. Um, so no team can be taken lightly, and we have to stay through the seven innings, 21 outs, and, you know, play through to the end.